Hello everyone, today we're creating a force grab ability. Jedi abilities have always been cool in games, so we'll try to recreate it for any object that you wanted to support. Before we start, I would like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the amazing support. This scene will be made available on Patreon. So we're starting off in a new scene, so we have a camera motor, we have a, uh, a default player, and we have a plane. So in order to get all of this working, we'll need the combat module and we'll need action pack one and we'll be combining those. So what we're doing here is we are going to be using the combat module to target objects, store them in variables, and with the action pack one asset, we'll be able to drag those objects. So let's get started so first things first we need to create that global variable I already had it but I'll just create it from scratch so force grab target it's a game object and uh, by default uh, it won't contain anything so it will be empty we'll be adding a cube you know, just to show how this can actually work with um, with any type of object. It doesn't necessarily have to be a character. Now, in order for this to work, we'll need a rigid body on this object. So um, I'll do a mass of 20, gravity. And the reason for that is that um, otherwise it will, won't behave the right way. So it's not like it's obligated. You don't have to do it, but it will just work really strange if you if you don't basically because it won't fall down it won't have mass etc etc now we're also going to be adding a character there we go perfect now with the latest update of the combat module you no longer require to have the shooter or melee module um, they're just optional dependencies, they're no longer required. However, I didn't update yet because this project is still on 2019.3. So, yeah, I should do that one, uh, one day. So, yeah, we, I'm going to be adding both here. And next up, um, you know, search for the play a targeter prefab and just drag that into the player. I'll drag it up. What we are going to change here is that we are going to be storing our current object in our new variable. We'll I'm going to keep everything else the same. I'm not going to play around with this. So I'll keep it all the same. And yeah, okay, that's cool. What we are going to be doing next on our character is, I, I think he needs a character shooter as well because I didn't do the update. And we'll add the targetable. There we go. So all I'm really going to be adding here is a default prefab because um, active target indicator, I think it is. Simply because the arrow is uh, looks nice and it will it will help to demonstrate how this works you don't need to do this by the way it's completely optional what we are going to do on non not active target we are going to be creating a new action let's do that And this will be a global action, but we can put it under the player actually. So let's rename this to clear uh, force grab user. And this is a bit of a weird one, but I'll, uh, I'll explain it in a bit um, why we are going to be doing this. So variables, and there we go, global variable force grab target. And what we are going to do here is a bit strange um, but we're going to be adding a new character we'll call him ghost character let's uh, drop him into prefabs 
There we go. Remove him from the scene. And what we're doing here is clear, uh, clear user. We are going to be dragging in the ghost character. Now, the reason why we're doing this is simply because by default, and yes, yeah, it's a bit odd, but by default, um, even though we're clearing the variable, we won't be able to clear animations. And that we're going to be setting those up as well for, um, you know, for characters. And for some reason, even if the global variable is cleared, it still won't clear the state of uh, changing the animations until a different object is selected. And that's just a bit weird. So a fix is to have a ghost, um, you know, ghost object basically replace it. And the reason I'm doing a character is because animations will work just to make sure we're actually clearing it. So a bit of a strange workaround and I couldn't really figure out why it wouldn't clear even though the global variable was cleared. So a bit odd. Anyway, let's create some actions here. And I'll just, uh, I'll put this in here. You don't need to see it. So force grab, trigger, there we go. And yeah, what we'll be doing here is, uh, is going to be, um, you know, pretty straightforward. So I'll use mouse uh, down right. Um, you can use any input you want, by the way. I'm, I'm using mouse because um, it's the easiest. I would use mouse because that's what we'll be using while dragging as well. Um, but it doesn't have to be uh, the right one. It could be the middle or left. You know, whatever you whatever you prefer. And these will just have simple actions. And we need mouse uh, trigger. And we need mouse up as well. Where is mouse up? There we go. And... Yeah, I'll just create these actions and drag those in. I'll duplicate them later. So yeah, what we are, uh, what we're doing here is um, we're going to be doing a change state now. And if you're wondering, you know, a cube like this won't have any um, animations. Uh, that's correct, and it will just skip this action, so it won't get stuck. Luckily, so that's a, a nice little advantage. So we are going to be changing the state of the global variable, which is what will be filled in once we actually target an object. Um, we still need to create the state. Um, yeah, that's fine. We'll create the state in a bit. Um, we'll do a 0 0.1 second wait. And then we are going to be using action pack one uh, drag objects with mouse. There we go. And again, this will refer to our global variable. Allow dragging. Also use the right mouse button. And yeah, that's uh, that's it. So let's start creating that state and. Well, I already have it, and I'll, I'll share a link to the animation. It's a Mixamo animation, um, you know, a simple one. It's uh, floating. I just adjusted it a bit, and I'll, I'll share the adjusted uh, version. Um, it's a couple of really, really small changes. So we'll be using that. So let's drag in floating state. Cool. Now we can duplicate these set of actions. And this is when we let go, so we'll do a reset. And um, here we will turn off allow dragging. And yeah, that's it. You know, the object will just drop. So really simple, really straightforward. Now we need to make sure those actions are actually entered as well. So there we go. And yeah, that's... Um, that's pretty much it on the player's end, so not all that much needs to be done, which is, um, you know, obviously really good. Uh, it doesn't actually really require all that much effort. Now on the character end, and we'll we'll copy that over for our um, for our cube. We need to make sure those clear actions are included. There we go, and yeah, we set it up to create a ghost character. 
so pretty sweet now what we're going to do next is we'll uh, we'll copy this over so copy components and we'll put it on the cube as well so paste this new and we'll just keep everything the same so I'm not uh, I'm not really going to be changing anything else here so yeah let's uh, let's actually give this a try Perfect. So on the on the cube here. Um, so if I you know if I press uh, right mouse now, nothing happens. He won't drag anything even if I select him. Um, same with the cube. You know nothing will be uh, will be dragged. If I hit Q, we'll focus on that object. And if I you know put right mouse on it, he'll uh, he'll drag it. And if I let go, he'll uh, let go. Uh, I see the mass was a bit too high. Um, okay, that's my bad. I'll uh, I'll change the rigid body. Apparently, it's so uh, so heavy it just falls through a plane. Um, as for our character here, um, it's the same. And for some reason, it won't really go up. That's uh, that's interesting. I'm not really sure why it's not going up. I'll need to check that out. Um, but yeah, basically, once um, you know, once selected, he'll go into the floating animation, and once we let go, he'll let go. Now, for some reason, however, he's not going up, so that's definitely interesting. So let's try to figure out why not. So turns out, I simply had to restart Unity because it was a bit slow. Didn't actually change anything or had to change anything so we'll try this again bit of a, a weird well unity thing let's just call it that so let's start off with the cube again just to make sure the cube there we go I forgot to change the mass let me try to put it down that's better cool and then next with this character and as you can see, um, you know, he's in his floating state and I'm pretty sure, you know, you can really throw him a bit as well. Um, there's a lot more you can do with this, of course. Um, you know, I'm keeping it relatively, uh, relatively simple, but I think it's, uh, it's pretty fun. But yeah, you can basically drag him. Now, if I let go, um, you know, I won't be able to select him anymore and his animation won't play. Now, this only works if you really set that um, ghost, um, you know, the, the ghost effect, basically. Because, um, yeah, otherwise it just, won't, uh, it just won't work. Now, let me try to grab this close as well. Oh, well, there we go. So, yeah, make sure you change that rigid body. That's way too high. So yeah, that's uh, that's all there is to it, really. It's uh, it's pretty simple. I took a while before I figured out, figured out how to do it properly, um, but yeah, I think it's uh, it's a really fun thing. I think there's a lot you can do with this. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.